Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone. I am Dr. Roland A. Drolet, PhD in Biomedical Engineering from the University of Toronto, 1971. I am the developer and inventor of the Rumart PEM system that has helped over one million people all over the world who were suffering from all kinds of health problems. Today I am with uh, my son, François Drolet, gold medalist, Olympic gold medalist in uh, Nagano, Japan, in short track speed skating. I'm glad to show you a little bit the um, some historical document and sources um, that uh, can be used by people who want to study further and they, they want to go on the internet to find more document and uh, also in this clip I'm going to talk uh, to give some phone numbers those who want to call to uh, show that they are interested and the courses may start September 2016 and maybe 2017 depending on the number of people interested. Okay, so here I just want to show, uh, I said time progression, progression temporelle, I made it bilingual there. I just gave a few dates to different documents that I've been done, uh, produced, uh, since 2016 till, till uh, 2014 for the book Self Medicine and Remote Miracles. So that's giving a different document. This 2006 it was a pamphlet called uh, Rodral Bioelectric Medicine giving a general introduction, beautiful uh, document that's available if uh, people want to have it. Uh, here it is called the 2008 the ultimate anti-inflammatory therapy rodral bioelectric medicine and also uh, it is termed the um, bioelectric or the electric mesotherapy so because of the tense super dense system okay? okay so this is a small document uh, between 2009 and 2014, well, 2009 is the year where the website of Rodral University, that is rodral.org, uh, it says it somewhere here, maybe not. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, no, it's rodral.org, and uh, we talk about master and doctorate program in. R-U-M for Rheumat Universal Medicine. So this is a term to uh, show uh, the general approach to health. Okay, and the word medicine is not legally reserved to anybody because there are over 100 kinds of medicine. Okay, okay. so uh, uh, even if some medical corporation pretend the, uh, uh, otherwise, uh, it was proven that it, uh, it's not the case. So in 2009, there is a little pamphlet called uh, Rumart Phenomenon and Bioelectric Medicine. Uh, 2011, there was the Rumart.pdf done by Bob Connolly and myself uh, from Toronto. And a beautiful 10-page uh, PDF that's available on the internet on Rumart.com or rumor.org. Um, in 2011, there is a series called the Rumor Paradigm, Tome 1, 2, 3, that I'm going to show just now. And the Tome 4 is going to be produced in one or two years, with probably this big book that I don't know the title yet. But I'm going to show you now the what I've called the Rumor Paradigm Tome 1, 2, and 3, they are right here. So, Tome 1, uh, why the word paradigm, it's really, uh, it's beyond dogma, 
So this is the scientific approach. So uh, the title of this one, these are French documents. Okay. They're not translated in English yet. So it's an invitation for anybody who is bilingual to help with this. Okay? And the uh, French version, a uh, large part of the French version of these three books are on the net, available free. Okay? So this uh, tome one of the Romart paradigm is called the um, Révolution scientifique unissant science, medicine, and spirituality. So it's the scientific revolution uniting science, medicine, and spirituality. It's a big title, and this is available free, a complete 54-page PDF on the net. Okay. Anyone can get it uh, in French because it's not translated yet. Tome 2 is uh, more related to basic science. Still parading remark, Tome 2. Uh, it says in French, I'll translate it in English uh, for, for you. Introduction to Fundamental Sciences. Physics, medicine, mathematics, yes, astronomy, and spirituality. Okay? So, of course, at first glance, it looks that there is not much in common in, the, in these fields, but it's because uh, people have, have not studied it uh, to comprehend the essential of this. Uh, domains. Because Would you show as well with these clips how it's interrelated? That's right. That's right. Okay. So this is uh, considered as a really a scientific introduction to many things uh, that I explain in these clips in English. This is in French and this French version doesn't go as far as what I gave okay. in the English version but uh, yeah, people will be uh, will like to have the translation of that whenever it's available. Tome three of this Romart paradigm series, um, it's in French still, but uh, I will translate the name. It says the foundation of life sciences. Okay, okay. from the origin of life to the training of the spirit spirituality because uh, body and spirit work together and uh, it's about time that uh, everybody realize that the approach separating the body and the mind you know the mechanistic approach that uh, Western medicine has used is really a thing of the past somehow for those who understand the importance of psychology, of well-being, social, and who understand that uh, the uh, physical conditioning or the physical condition of the human de body depends on the spirit and on the golden rules that everyone should adopt for themselves. If they don't like the seven that I just presented, well, they just develop their own, but with the objective of being more healthy and happy and help other people around them. Okay, so this uh, last one I want to show in the series, it's called uh, Faculty of Universal Medicine from uh, Road Royal University. It's still a French document, but this is the uh, summary of 12 uh, introductory course to universal, what I call universal medicine. And um, uh, actually, uh, there is a master and PhD program that could be developed from there. And the master's program is all defined in this with uh, summaries of courses. So that's something uh, for people in uh, two, uh, 2016 and 17 especially when this is translated, and those who take the course on the scientific philosophy of life, they will have an introduction to that. Okay, other documents I mentioned that I want to show, uh, what I've called, this is a very recent document that is called 
Self Medicine and Rumor Miracle. So again, it looks uh, uh, surprising to talk about miracle in a scientific book because we mean scientific miracle. It's understandable by people. So it's not just uh, wishful thinking. It is something that really works, but that is not independent of the person using it. Okay, so whether it's a clinician or a father who uses it for his children, we have seen babies taking advantage of all kinds of uh, uh, session with the room art. In cases, even tachycardia for a newborn baby. Uh, one of my distributors, 30 years ago, she called me and she said, Hey, what can we do with the tachycardia of a baby? They are afraid the baby will die. Well, I said, you have the system over there. Just try it smoothly with the pads. Not very intense. Give a relaxation session for a little baby. The local pads are global for him. So I said, just use the pad gently. Amplitude maybe one and a half, two, and relax the baby and see what happens, and you tell me. And just one session, the tachycardia disappear. Is it the, really the machine? Is it the love of these people? You will never know exactly. But the coincidence, if you like coincidence, is very high, and it happened even not only for babies, but for cows, for uh, dogs, for cats. We call it scientific miracle because we use something that works on the nervous system and we know the parameter, we know that it relaxes the nervous system, it strengthens the immune system if you use it regularly. So it is a scientific tool, okay? But it does what people call miraculous things because some people have been five years, ten years without result uh, with their chronic health problem. And in a matter of, of weeks, in a, usually after a week, people improve the quality of their sleep tremendously. So that's great because your uh, regeneration during the night and the replenish of your medium around the cells uh, is improved a lot. So you have, sometimes I use the number 1,000 variables in the human body. Really, it's millions of animals, so many, uh, I could say billions, with all the, mm, the atoms and molecules in there. But just to make it understandable, I see there is over 1,000 variable, and they are all interdependent sometimes. And the controlling system is the nervous system and the spirit. So uh, you cannot say that the instrument, the rheumatic system, does everything. There are three basic factors in every healing. Motivation to heal and, you know, doing the things that she can do to be in better health. The instrument, rheumatic PEMP system, is doing wonderful things because of the improving communication in the nervous system. And the mentor or the person who teaches a person how to use it initially and how to become autonomous and confident in it. Because even if you see the system and you hear the kind of thing I'm talking about, until you don't have personal experience with it, it remains theory. But once you had one, two, three, five experience with this, especially with the people close to you, you know they are not going to lie. They're going to tell you the truth about it. Then it's another story. I'm just uh, going to uh, finish this uh, clip. I have uh, a few things I wanted to show you. So here, you see, I talk about School of Rheumat Miracles. So I demystify what I mean by miracles, but uh, I don't want people to think that uh, I'm doing a miracle to you, you know, and you are cute and I fall you down, like we see on the, uh, you know, USA. Uh, so this is not a kind of, has nothing to do with this. This has to do with the people who understand that they can help themselves with tools, with applying the seven golden rules, and uh, they want to help themselves, they want to control their life, and they can use any help they, they want. 
and uh, that's it. So th this is what uh, I would call uh, like a doctor, a medical doctor who wrote a book uh, entitled something like uh, uh, Love uh, and Miracle, a medical doctor, and uh, he mentioned that uh, the uh, uh, miracles of today will be the science of tomorrow. So he, this is in this sense that I'm talking about Romart Miracle because we are doing things, people are doing things with Romart that uh, I even myself never thought possible. But we saw it. We see it happen. It's not a question of believing it. It's a question of witnessing it. And say, well, try it. Because over a thousand people ask me, do you think we can uh, help with such and such situation that I've never seen very often? I said, well, try it and tell me what happens. Because if you know how to use a method, you can try it. Because this is not dangerous, you know. But you have to learn how to use it. Too much of a good thing is not so good. So uh, children can use a remote system as you used it when you were eight years of age and you did a wonderful job with it. And for uh, sprains and uh, when training and all that, and you went to the Olympics and still using it. Huh? Um, this is uh, after about 100 books I read. Uh, on Buddhism of different levels. It's the one that I use now and I, I was most impressed. This guy, Jeffrey Hopkins, was the translator of the Dalai Lama, of the Dalai Lama uh, for 10 years and he has written so many books. Uh, but this is like, a, um, in English, demystifying a lot of words also. It's the first place that I see that the translation of the Sanskrit word Dharma, which means teaching, really in English is translated by the word phenomenon. So it helped me making a link between all of what I've been te teaching in these clips and uh, the teachings of the Buddha. Because the word Dharma, that means teaching, is it is translated in English by phenomenon, okay? So uh, all kinds of phenomenon, and one of the pure phenomenon class that I mentioned, the 47th of the 55 phenomenon uh, of the pure class that he mentions there, uh, after uh, Maitreya, which was a student of the historic Buddha, okay? Uh, he uh, mentioned, um, uh, that uh, the 18 non-shared attributes of Buddha uh, in this detail. So what I've been talking about in these uh, uh, clips, uh, one of the clips, or maybe uh, could be seen as an introduction to scientific Buddhism. That's because for me, it's about time that people realize that the basic uh, Buddhism, Buddhist teaching is scientific. Unless you just go on the surface and you want a religion to tell you what to do. That's not the idea of the Buddhism. And even the historic Buddha said that uh, don't take what I say for word for word and for the pure truth. Just listen and think about it and decide if something is good and can help you. And if not, forget it and keep listening. Maybe I will say something that can help you. But don't take my sayings as the complete truth and eternal truth because that's not my job. It's your job to find the truth for you. And when you will, um, if you are patient enough and if you just keep uh, working at it, Maybe one day you will be a good teacher to help other people do the same thing. So I just mentioned here, coming to these tables, that in 2017, it's already the case, the pharmaceutical industry is in crisis. And we can see signs of that when they double, triple, and multiply by 10 the cost of certain drugs. Today, 
they can offer drugs to prolong the life of some cancer patient, uh, to prolong the life of one month or two, and it costs $30,000 of this thing. So this is simply turning the pharmaceutical industry that has done good things for certain drugs to help uh, temporarily when people are in danger, but turning this into a business, money for money for money. So that's, that's too where bad. it becomes dangerous for the people. Yeah, and they control, a lot of them control the politician because there's so much money in this. And for the last five or ten years, they are more and more controlling the education in the medical faculty. And this started around 1915 when Rockefeller and Carnegie Foundation decided to invest $50 million in medical, standard medical ed education, but at the condition that they learn how to prescribe drugs. And that, so it has evolved. But it's about in 1949 or 1950 where all these specialties were defined to share the cake of uh, health care, you know. And uh, since that time, it's unfortunately, unfortunate that all problems, for instance, ending by itis are treated by different specialists differently in different drugs. But they are all related to inflammation. That's the uh, termination, uh, termination uh, of the word itis means. It means inflammation. So this is where we have great result with the Rumat system on over 80 of uh, our um, acute or chronic health problems because we deal with inflammation strengthening the, um, strengthening the uh, immune system. So I'm just going to finish in a few minutes here uh, about what I call about, it could be called a, the school of miracles, but uh, please uh, allow me to use the word miracles because it is scientific miracles in just what I explained. And uh, we could call it rheumatic bioelectric medicine. We could go give it so many names. But the idea is that using this type of system, if uh, our families or most families who have health problems will use it for themselves and their children and their relatives, uh, it has the potential of reducing health costs by one third, 33 percent. This could happen over five years, 10 years, 20 years, but it will never happen until this type of system or method of relaxation or meditation, all of this combined uh, with the responsibility of the people to take charge of their own health and life, okay? So uh, this is just giving a few numbers, uh, pre-registration, it could be September 2016 uh, or 17, it's now open, you have the numbers here, I won't say them, uh, you can read this on the screen, okay? And um, there is a, a fee mentioned here, but this is subject to a decision depending on the number of people interested. But the key, the key there is to give uh, seven courses of three hours per course uh, every two weeks. So this would last on uh, two years time okay. uh, so that people can read and they can understand and take great things. And remember what I said about the AS9 connection of humanity. So the idea is that if uh, in two years you can train people so well that they want to train others and if just you train seven people very well and they want to do the same thing after two years, that means in 18 years or 20 years we would have trained 323 million people, which is one people every 22 people of the whole humanity now. But if you have one people world trained, no matter what is the language or 
religions, the education, the culture, in helping others, the kind of way that I was talking about, only one people uh, is able to take care of 22 people easily. Because there are people who will never be able in their present life to take care of themselves. So they need help, they need to go to lesson, they need a clinician, they need a, a massage and what have you, okay? But uh, this is about training masters of applied science in what I call, um, the, this could be called uh, MBU for Universal Bioelectric Medicine, whatever it could be called. The essence is to understand what it is. The t details for uh, more about uh, Rodral is in this website, rodral.org and rumart.com. And here I just the the asterisk school of miracles because I don't want people to think that I'm going to put them down to sleep and be free of all their problems. They can do it themselves. So I mean that this is scientific miracle. So thank you very much. Thank That's you. the end of this clip.